Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of chapter 3 in our fire team tutorial series. In the last part we started work on our kill announcements which are the little things that appear in the corner of the screen when someone has been killed. In this episode we're going to finish that off by adding the functionality in to display this message to all the players in the game. So let's get started. So last time we set up our kill announcement widgets and they're ready to go, we need to set up the bindings that we need for that. And this also goes hand in hand with how we're going to store and keep track of the player's achievements throughout the individual matches. So how many kills they've had, how many deaths they've had and so on and so forth. So in here we're going to create our own player state. So let's go into my systems folder again and we're going to create a new perfect class and we're going to search for player state. It is. And this one we're going to call online player state. So in here you're going to keep track of a various amount of values uh, during the match. So in functions, we're going to add a new function. Uh, not function, sorry, variables. See that? New variable. And this one's going to be personal score. So how many points have you scored? How many flags have you captured? Things like that. That would be an integer. Now you're going to make another one. And this one is going to be kills. Obviously, you can be tracking how many kills you've had. Deaths. How many deaths you've had. And then... In the uh, fire team, we actually included confirmed killed and stolen kills. Uh, so we're going to add that in here as well. So we're going to do confirmed kills and, con and stolen kills. We're also keeping track of their team ID. So we're going to have in here team ID. And part of the player, uh, player state as well is going to be an event dispatcher called on kill earned and this will be the one that is going to be bound to our announcement when we get around to it so on the game player state we're going to create our own custom event called the game kill event and this is going to be run on the server version of it because this is going to keep track of all the points the player has so the the player state and game states exist on all the player characters all the all the clients inside the game and uh, but they are shared with the game uh game server the server can update and change things on there and keep track of them so you typically will have the player state keeping track of individual player scores the game state will keep them track of like team scores and things like that and then the game mode determining whether or not they should be successful in finishing the match or not on the game kill here we're going to have one input and that's going to be victim yeah string and then we're going to drag out our kills and just add one to it. So plus one. Plug that in. And we do want this replicated so we can see each other's kills. So we're going to put in kills is replicated. Yeah. And then we're going to do our call on kill earned. On kill earned, we need to send over the victim, which we've got here, and the who this player state is belonging to. So on kill earned event dispatcher, go over to its inputs and add in two inputs. The first one is going to be the player, and that's going to refer to the type of a player state. And then we want the bottom one to be victim. That would be a string. File and probably refresh this. Yep. Okay, so victim, just drag that across like so. And on player, we're going to do self. Okay, so when we call gain kill, we're going to gain, gain a kill point and then we're going to call kill earned. Now we need to make the binding for our game state to allow that. Let's go into our game state. Game state. And we're going to create another custom event in here called uh, new player joined. Okay, and this is going to take in one input, which is going to be a controller. So player controller and player one controller. <clears throat> okay. So on controller here, you know, drag this out and get the player state associated with that controller. 
So this whole thing here is going to be called every time a new player joins a match. That includes all the players that were in the lobby together as well. It will get called then too. So we just want to get the player state here. And we're going to cast to our online player state. Okay. And I'm just going to convert that to a pure cast. Just for ease of use for really. And I'm going to take the as online player state. Drag that out and do bind event on kill earned and we'll plug that into new player join the event we we'll do is create event and we want to choose the announce kill and that will trigger this which triggers the rpc so everyone gets to see the same message so what we need to do now is call our new player joined and that's getting called on our game mode on here and on here we're going to do um, new player joined in a couple of places the first place we're going to put it is on the post login okay and this is when players join the match probably late okay they've turned up late um but all you can do is take out the um get game state And from there, to cast to online game state. And then from there, new player joined. And that's going to ask for a controller, which just comes from this new player pin. Okay. And hit compile and save that. Okay, so that's post login. The other place we'll have it is on swap player controllers. And this is going to be the case when they come in from the um lobby and you know, they come in with a, a travel across together and this will be happening here where it switches between one player controller and the other so what we're going to do on here is we're going to get the game state cast to online game state and new player joined and that is going to be the new player controller going across in there Okay. okay compile and save that okay so that's all that set up the only thing that's left to do now is actually send over the information about who has attacked who's attacked who and um who's responsible for the death so let's go into our player character and after we do enter the death state so damage here after enter death state here we're going to do a very simple check we're going to check to see if our last hit by is valid now last hit by is one that's already in here and you right click on it and convert it to a value that get you basically going to check who last hit you okay that's all it's going to do it'll get you the controller for that player so here i'm going to drag that out and do get player state <clears throat> and then I want to cast this player state to online player state. So last it by is going to return back who done the damage. So in this case, we want this person to uh, achieve the kill. So we're going to drag out and do gain kill. And the victim is going to be our own player state and own player controller. So if I get player controller, get player state, and then get their player name. And we'll plug that into there. Okay. So hit compile and save that and let's see that in action so on the server and i'll shoot the other guy and you can see the dead top kill messages have come up now in the top right and after a few seconds that'll disappear
piece of shit there. Let's kill another one. Let's have a look at that in a second. Okay, down I go, and we've got the other message on the screen there. You said it had a different. They're not, they're not disappearing. Let's take a look at why that may be the case. I must have made a mistake somewhere. So I'm going to go to kill announcement. Graph. Um, oh, yep, I didn't hook up this construct event. There we go. Now, if I would push play, your my opinion. Down they go. There's the message. Waiting for the message. Yeah. There you go. So we've got respawning in with a kill announcement. Excellent. And there we have it, we've now got a fully functioning kill announcement system in our game. And this same widget can be used for many things in the future as well, such as scoring points when a player's left or join the game as well. So it's all set up ready for us to add that stuff in later. So in the next episode, we're going to go through and fix a couple of bugs and also tweak our shooting to make it a fully automatic rifle so we can kill each other's players with just one hold of the button. So you can watch that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where all my videos are available from $1 a month early before anyone else. Massive thank you to all my patrons and new gym members for their continued support. Thank you for watching, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone. I'm ready to play now, put me in the game now. I came here to prove it, I'm ready to do it, I can't be afraid now. Put me on the stage now, I'm ready to rage now. I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out. My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop this time like the last time. You better get ready to...